Hello. So, did you get the results of the test? Yes, uh, we got back his results, and what we suspected was right. He is um, infected by tetanus. So after this, we can proceed with the treatment. I'll tell you about the treatment, and if you agree with it, you can sign the consent form to continue the treatment. Okay. okay. Um, before we start, he, uh, I have to tell some things that he has to be in a certain way throughout his treatment. Mm -hmm. Like he have, always has to be in this position. Mm -hmm. No matter when he wakes up and he feels like he wants to stand up or walk or anything, he's not allowed. He should always be like this. No um, physical activity, nothing. So how about food? How will he be eating? That's why we have placed um, the tube. We will be giving him his food through the tube because he is not able to eat at the moment properly. So don't worry about the food. He will all got full of vitamins and nutrition. So he will be strong all throughout the way. Mm -hmm. And we, okay, we can continue with the medical yeah. therapy. So we will be giving him antibiotics. Mm -hmm. It is um, the strongest antibiotic he has to kill the bacteria in his body. And we will giving him. We will be giving it to him three times a day through the tube here. Can you see that it's connected with his hand? We will be also giving him infusion therapy. It is infusion therapy is to keep him hydrated throughout the day, and also it will be easier to administer the medication through this way. And um, we will be also giving him the vaccination for the tetanus, specifically so that if by chance he gets it again, he that the vaccination will prevent it and we will also be taking care of his wound so that it heals properly and without any inflammation or any other thing that's all we'll be doing if you agree with all the medical treatment can you sign the form sir Okay, so I think we should leave the room now, Sir Nice, so that we don't trigger his uh, spasms. 